So I'm sitting here enjoying this post-dinner tea. And I got to thinking about cooking. The process of cooking and how it applies to life in general. Cooking is the process that eventually leads to the act of eating. But like all processes, it's all about the journey, not the destination. So in cooking, it's a skill, it's an art, and it's a process. And a practice, too. So in being a skill, you need to learn and develop multiple skills, and you get better and better at cooking as you practice it. You need to learn how to cut things. You need to learn specific recipes. You need to learn measurements. You know, need to learn how to flip eggs with spatulas. Like There's a lot of skills involved in cooking. And cooking is a skill in and of itself. And building skills translates to other skills. It's, a, it's the same learning curve. So if you get good at learning skills, it applies to other things. You can apply the same principles of learning to other subject areas. So that's one of the major benefits of cooking, skill acquisition. And that's why Tim Ferriss has the book, The 4-Hour Chef, which it's about cooking, but he uses cooking as a vehicle for skill acquisition and learning. Cooking is the vehicle for it, and that's why it's brilliant. And with cooking being a process, with cooking being the journey, it, it really allows you to enjoy the process and the journey in other things, in other aspects of life, and life in general, because really it's all about the journey. Like, in college, graduation is the worst part, <laughs> you know? That's the destination, isn't it? But the journey is better. And cooking is an art. Eating really isn't an art, <laughs> right? And then there's the quote, happiness is a way of travel, not a destination. So cooking is that way of travel, and it allows you to really embrace and love the journey. Because everyone that cooks, they start to love it. Like, it starts to be a fun process because it's all about the journey. You're acquiring skills. You're practicing, and you also get into to a meditative state when you cook. Because most of the times if you're cooking, you're not thinking about your job. You're not thinking about drama. You're pretty much either focused on the topic at hand or in a state of no thought and just acting, just being. Just like that beautiful dance, that beautiful flow of action. And it's like a moving meditation. And that's another beautiful aspect of cooking. And then plus, it's creating, too. You're creating something. And in, like, this day and age, we do a lot of consuming, but very little creating. So cooking is a way for you to create things on a regular basis. And creativity, it's what we're here to do. We're here to create things. We're here to embrace the journey. We're here to acquire skills. We're here to level up. So love the journey. Get out there and cook, or get in there and cook. Yum.